welcome to yet another series of the Super Cyclone Challenge. Can you believe it's Season 7? Of course, in Season 6, we only got through three game shows before it was scrubbed. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened. Probably lots of storms got in the way, um, and lots of things just went wrong last year. But we're back again, and we hope to make good on this series, which leads us all the way up to the end of the hurricane season, maybe even beyond, depending on how popular demand is. But we've got plenty of contestants lining up to reach the top of the mile per hour tree and of course real prizes being given out as well during this series of the Super Cyclone Challenge. A cash amount or equivalent to whatever your mile per hour rating gets to. So it's even more important than ever to walk away um, if you don't know the answer just to get that little bit extra up uh, where you are instead of gambling it all and sometimes losing it. Well, my name is Nathan Foy, and uh, we've got plenty of people, of course, getting ready. But tonight, it is the turn of someone brand new, at least to the game, but someone you've seen regularly around and about. It's Charlie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. How are you? You've been preparing for this? Uh, may maybe. 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 Well... Um, a, a lot of people are watching this for the first time, uh, wondering how the game is going to go. Uh, when was the first time you saw the Super Cyclone Challenge? I think it was season four, oh. a couple, couple years ago. Was the first one, and yeah. I we watched season three as well. Ah, th time. there's some funny seasons back there, some funny games. Yeah. Um, but here we are now with a new one. How well do you think you might do? I think, I've got a hunch right now, that the questions mm. may be a little bit easier than they were last time. Of course, it's the same, uh, well, the new format, which we started last time. No lifelines, just lives. Uh, so we're giving you a quick fire round, and you'll be able to gather as many lives as you can um, and then lot. you run through them during the game so how well do you think you'll do I don't know to be honest it depends on the, uh, the, the the types of questions and probably the level of question ah well anyone could say that couldn't they yeah <clears throat> yes okay well best of luck so it's uh, the game's really been simplified. I mean, with, with no lifelines to think about or anything like that, uh, it is just you and the questions and uh, try and hold on to as many lives as you can to get as high as possible. Of course, we've still got the five safe zones, 40 miles per hour, 75, 115, 150, and 180, should you get there. And, of course, the grand prize for getting to the top of the mile per hour tree is uh, the basically the highest 215 miles per hour which will put up to 250 dollars or equivalent uh, for that last question will anyone get there they haven't so far in normal play charlie oh do think, no do you think we'll see it this series you you could see it this series i don't know if it'll be from me but <laughs> i'm sure there'll be some other people who could get close okay then are you ready for your quick fire round yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm different. Okay, so, um, gee, I can't even remember what the amount of time. I, I think it's 10 seconds it was, wasn't it? Yeah, 10 uh, short yeah. seconds uh, to tell us as many things in this category that I'm about to read out. And however many you get correct are the amount of lives that you get. Okay? Here we go. Let me just get my clock ready. Charlie is absolutely dreading it right now, I can tell. Um... Here we go then. Name me as many Atlantic major hurricanes of the 1990s. All right, you got Opal, you got Roxanne, you've got oh no, this is not a great start. Is it? Okay, you got Lenny, you've got what else have you got? You got Floyd. Time's Floyd's up. up there. What really? That was wow. ten seconds. That was the quickest ten seconds in my life. You got four. That's not bad. Oh, no. Yeah, four four lives. I mean, it's about the same as, as the lifelines, I suppose, and they don't always help. I did not mention Andrew. <laughs> yeah, Andrew's in there. As well. There were tons you could have said. Andrew, Bertha, Bob, Bonnie, Brett, Cindy, Claudette, Edward, Emily, Erica, Felix, Floyd, Fan, Georges, Gert, Gustav, Hortense, Isidore, Lenny, Lily, Louise, Marlin, Mitch, Opal, and Roxanne. So many. I just thought of the most active season. That's, that's just what came to my mind. Well, it netted you four lives, so I think we're yeah. on to a decent start here. 
All right, then, let's start with the first round of questions, then. Of course, 20 seconds on the clock for all of these for, you know, Charlie over there. Uh, well, first of all, Charlie, before we begin, I just want to do a little bit of conversation stuff. Um, how are you finding life on the Force 13 set? <laughs> it's good at the moment, yeah. Very, very good at the moment. Been quite productive. You'd be doing a few Force 13 Sundays episodes as well. A couple of them, a few TWBs. In fact, a lot of TWBs. Mm. Um shorts as always animations and video updates <laughs> right good okay now that we're settled in let's begin the real questions four lives here we go 20 seconds hurricane hone formed in 2024 after almost how many years of waiting is it one five ten or 1775 five final answer yep that's the right answer for 20 miles per hour do, 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 do. We are going. Had to be a homemade question, Charlie. <laughs> of course. Here we go for question two. Okay. Which of these land effects are most likely from a storm that stays out to sea? Is it rip currents, storm surge, destructive winds, or snow? Storms. Uh, no, sorry, rip current. Rip, rip currents. Sorry. Final answer. Yeah. He got it, it's the right answer. Almost knocked him off there, but it is indeed Rip Cones. Very good. Question three then, which goes to 35 miles per hour. After its peak, Hurricane Jose performed which maneuver in the Atlantic in 2017? Was it a loop, twist, chicane, or barrel roll? I'm gonna go with a barrel roll. Final answer? Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't oh. a barrel roll, Charlie. <laughs> I've heard that term somewhere about Jose. I I did. I, I uh, No, not from us. We're going to have to do uh, it again, Charlie. you got three lives. What oh, did Hurricane no. Jose do? Give it another 20 seconds starting now. Was it a loop, twist, chicane, or not a barrel roll? Chicane. Final answer. Yeah. It wasn't a chicane either. What? 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 Oh, okay. Well, Come on, Charlie. Let's keep it simple. Let's go here. What okay. was it? Come on, tell me. It was a loop. Final answer. Yeah. Loop the loop. That is the right answer. Oh, finally. <laughs> I've lost so many lives. From the loop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I think you thought too much into that, right? Way too into that. It was so okay. obvious. It was so obvious. Alright, let, let's just calm things down here as we get to a struggle storm status. I remember there was a game last time where someone did really, really well on just one life. So who knows, we've got two here as we enter question four for tropical storm status. Which island was significantly impacted by Hurricane Humberto in 2019? Was it the Isle of Wight? Bimini, Bermuda, or Barbados? Bermuda. What did you say? Bermuda. Final answer. Yeah. I just thought for a minute then you said Barbuda, but of course that wasn't in the questions. Bermuda is the right answer, yes, for 40 miles per hour. So we have our first tropical storm of the new season. Tropical Storm Charlie, I assume that's what we want to call you. Um, uh, sure. You you had a little story. I'm only going to talk about it, but um, about Hurricane Charlie, right? A little story. Oh yeah, I did. I do have a story about Hurricane Charlie. Um, my parents were actually on their honeymoon during Hurricane Charlie. No way. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, what were they okay? Oh, they were fine. Yeah. Okay. They got a little certificate for it. So did they? Yeah. A certificate of who, Charlie? <laughs> of, no, of the, uh, of the Cuban government. No way, they're in Cuba. Yeah. Wow, that's an amazing story. All right, 40 miles per hour, safe. $40 or equivalent in the kitty. Here is the next question then for 50 miles per hour, 30 seconds on the clock this time. You've not had any time problems, so we're pretty good. Here it is. 
The 1928 Okeechobee Hurricane reached which category on the Sapphire Simpson scale? Was it two, three, four, or five? I think it's a five from our analysis. That's what I remember being a five. And we're talking officially, so find Officially, answer. yeah, sure, five. Locked it in? Yep. Category five is the correct answer for 50 miles yeah. per hour. Very good indeed, very good indeed. I thought these questions were easy. <laughs> Here is the next one for 60. Which 1996 storm formed in the Gulf of Mexico? Was it Arthur, Dolly, Gustav, or Josephine? Uh, is it Gustav? Is that your final answer, Charlie? I'm gonna go with it. Says Gustav. It is not Gustav. Oh. Formed in the Eastern Atlantic. Oh dear. Let's start again. Roll 30 seconds. It's your last life. Be careful. Oh no. Here it is then. Which 1996 storm formed in the Gulf of Mexico? Arthur, Dolly, Gustav, or Josephine? Could be Josephine. I don't know where that was again. Um, I'm just gonna go with Dolly. Final answer. Sure. <laughs> Charlie, you've gone for yep. Dolly. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It is the wrong no. answer. Oh, it was it was, it was it was Josephine, wasn't it? It was Josephine. That was my Look, what hasn't I'm worked. Afraid. I again. know it was. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, it's so itching for you to actually go for Josephine. Oh my goodness, Charlie, we exhausted oh, no. the full lives already. I can't believe uh, it. I could have got away more lives. I just forgot mm. half of the storms that happened in the 1990s there. Uh, they were two pretty bad questions that appeared early on there. Um, I, I thought these questions were supposed to be easy. Who wrote these questions? You. Anyways. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay. Was it chat GPT? No, I, well, I mean, no. Uh, well, the questions were written, written, and I can't even speak. Charlie, hey, $40, though. I mean, that is quite something. 40 mile per hour winds, uh, a tropical storm at that. How did you feel? Rest at the start, and then I kind of got comfortable after I messed up on the Jose one. Mm. But uh, if, I, if I, I to... over... Think you might have gotten through. Yeah. And I, I, reckon, I reckon the following question you might have got, but I can't reveal it to you. Because the next contestant is going to have that one uh, if they get that far. But that was Charlie uh, getting up to 40 miles per hour in the end, kicking us off for the new series of the Super Cyclone Challenge. Anything else you want to tell us about before we let you go? You can only go up from here, from it the other people we play. Hey, well, you're not a zero mile an hour winner. I mean, there are a couple of those. Really? Oh, wow. Yes, okay. yes, including Strat. Uh, what? Well, I mean that that was a that was a um, that was an all in game, wasn't it? But there oh. we go. <laughs> all right then. Well, that was Charlie. We'll be back after this. We're back with another episode of the Super Cyclone Challenge, and if you'd like to get involved, there's still a little bit of time to send in your uh, application forms. Uh, the link is probably going to be in the description of this video, and you'll probably see an announcement or two on our channels as well if you want to take part and possibly win big. And joining us for another version of what might be an interesting Super Cyclone Challenge is someone that you may remember from last series, Series 6, which didn't go on for very long, and the uh, infamous infamous um, back garden, not garden, but like field view, it was Christian. There he is. Hello. And you remember that day back in May 2023 when we were out there in the uh, common area and uh, things went pretty badly, didn't they? For me, yes. Just for you. Well, yes, um, th there were some funny off. screenshots that came out of that as well. And during that stream, a dog came up to us, didn't it? A dog did come <laughs> up to us, During that game. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't see it on the camera, but yeah. Yeah, sadly not. It would have been funny, uh, but never mind. How have you been, Christian? Yeah, 
I've been I've been fine. Yeah, I've been traveling the world. Yeah, and uh, you, you've you've managed to spend um, take a little bit of time out of your busy life to uh, drop in here and see how well you can do. Yes, absolutely. Now, how well did you do last time? Uh, don't remind me. It wasn't great. I can't even remember. You you got to forty, I... didn't you? Did you? Uh, probably. <laughs> I hope so. Well, it is the same format as on that occasion as well. We have um, a quick fire round. We've got to basically give me as many answers as possible to gain as many lives as you can, and then we advance through that mile per hour tree. No lifelines. Uh, it's just you and the questions, and of course a time limit for the first four or five rounds. So, Christian, are you ready for your quick fire round? Anything else you want to ask me first? No. Okay. I, uh, well. Yeah, all right then. So, here we go. Let's see how well you do then. Uh, you're going to have just a 10 second period here to throw at me as many things as you can. And the topic is Storm Names of the 2012 Atlantic Hurricane Season. Go. 2012. Well, okay, well that was 12 years ago, so it's probably this naming list. Uh, I don't know if Beryl was on the list. I yep. could just name off. It was. Your time's um, up. <laughs> what? That did not feel like 10 seconds. Yes, it was. You were going through it for half of it. Well then, Christian has retained one life. You can tell this is going to go well. What are you thinking over there? You're pulling a face. That did not feel like 10 seconds. I mean, I, I can hardly remember this year's naming list as is. Obviously, Honestly, it was, Christian. It took you eight seconds to start your... Oh, yeah, no. yeah, um... And then, obviously, I know some names have been retired since then, so uh -huh. it's like it's not going to be a perfect match. Right, then. Well, then, best of luck. I swear to God, if you get the first question wrong. <laughs> I mean, at least I didn't do as bad as Michael Scott. Ah, ah, but it can still be beaten. Uh, here is the first question. If you're ready, are you ready? Go for it. With your precious life, 20 seconds on the clock, so have a think before you give me the answer, just for a few little moments, but 20 seconds. What was the G-name storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season? Was it Greg, Gordon, Gertrude, or Gaston? I'm uh, pretty sure it was Gordon. Final answer. Yes, final answer. I remember this because it sounds similar to the town name I live in. Gordon. <laughs> That's the right answer for 20 miles an hour, yes. <clears throat> Well, don't forget, you can walk away even after I've read out the question um, before the time runs out. So uh, just in case you want to wrap things up early. But here is the next question. Hmm? I was just going to say, what happens if, you know, you walk out on the first question? You get nothing, probably. But Yeah, yeah. before you even answer the first question. Yeah. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but we, we've already done that. Well, here is question number two for 30 miles per hour. Most modern naming lists follow which convention? Is it alphabetical, numerical, Greek letters, or Chinese letters? Um, alphabetical. Final answer. Yeah. That is the right answer for 30 miles per hour. We are going. All right, some uh, easy questions to get you a bit warmed up there. Here's the next one for 35. A mesovortex can have what effect on a tropical cyclone? <laughs> Is it higher winds, drier air, triggers earthquakes, or spawns aliens? <laughs> well, it's, it's not going to be trigger earthquakes or spawn aliens, because that's, you know, not weather. Mesovortex can have what effect on a tropical cyclone? Higher winds, drier air, triggers earthquakes, or spawns aliens? I want to say higher winds. Final answer. I mean, it's probably... Quickly. Good. Locked yeah, you in. Go final. Go for it. All right. You don't think it's drier air? Do you mind? I'm in a quiz right now. <laughs> Can you go away? Go away. 
Buzz off. Buzz, Buzz off. off. <laughs> now, Christian, what if I told you that dry air was the right answer? Then I would be not happy. Well, don't worry, you'll be happy. It is the right answer. Higher winds is correct. That is 35 miles per hour. Yes, let's go. All right, one question will get you to Tropical Storm status and your first safe spot. Here it is. The Herdat database begins in which no. year? Oh, is no. it 1494, 1635, 1851, or 1979? I want to say 1979. Is that your final answer? I mean, now you say that, but like it's either a toss-up between eight. Screw it, fine. It's gonna toss up between 1979. Go for it. Is it wrong, Christian? That's the wrong answer. Just out of curiosity, what year was it? Is it 1851? Yes. <laughs> it was a toss up between that one and 1951. Oh, Christian. It's, uh, it's one of the first things that I found out when I was learning hurricanes way back when. Um, the right answer is 1851. That is when her dad begins. Eh, fair. I mean, it's fair enough. I mean, I'm just here to make videos. <sighs> Christian, you've won nothing. For the second time running. <laughs> uh, I can't, I don't, did I, I probably did even worse than last year. You know, I'm pretty sure I won nothing from last year anyway. Oh, God. Christian. <laughs> well, if you think you can do better than Christian and Charlie on the Super Cyclone Challenge, Send us a I, message. I don't even know how well Charlie did. Yeah, you'll find you out. Won't, you, won't, you won't tell me. No, I won't. Send us a message uh, and fill out the application form before it closes. They close in just a few days. Uh, so get in touch and we'll uh, put you through and uh, we'll let you know if you win the draw. Uh, because we'll just be drawing people out at random um, for future episodes of the Super Cyclone Challenge. And be prepared to receive an email or... A, a contact card about uh, the upcoming game show and hopefully we'll try and match your availability well that's it for tonight's episode of the super -de duper cyclone challenge um christian anything else you'd like to tell everyone anything you want to plug things that are coming up uh also teen no. extra i mean yeah um, there is that there was a two hour I vloggish thing on extra that I that I put up a couple of days ago as of recording uh, basically about my whole trip to the other side of the world again it's nearly two hours long so grab some popcorn <laughs> excellent well that's it from us tonight we'll see you again next weekend